So when you click on the link, which is in the description, it says that uh, you need to use Chrome. So you actually have to plug the hub into a computer. You must use the USB, micro USB cable and plug it into a computer and it's got to have Chrome on it. And also um, it needs to have, it can't have Windows 10 or 11. So I'm just doing mine on the Mac, but uh, you've got to find a computer that doesn't have Windows 10 or 11, plug it in, open up the website using the link in the description and uh, follow the instructions from there. It says hold down the connection button and plug in the USB cable. So you've got to hold down the little um, Bluetooth button, plug in the connection cable that you normally use to charge your robot. Um, and you're supposed to wait until it goes multiple colors. Keep holding the connection. Now it's going multiple colors. I've opened the connection window. Okay. And it says Lego Technic Large Hub in DFU mode. So that's cool. I'm going to click on that and press connect. So you can see that on the screen. And then it says start firmware downgrade. So I press start firmware downgrade. And it's going to, on my hub, it's going to reinstall the old Spike 2, I imagine. The firmware. So the hub OS has been installed. You're now ready to use the Spike Legacy app, which is kind of the, the full version of the older version. Downgrade another hub or quit. Looks like it's ready to go. You notice that it keeps flashing. Now I've opened up the um, Spike app, but I'm going to turn the hub off. So open up your Spike app, put your finger on the hub and turn it off. And then once you're in Spike, you can press the connection tab. Because you're plugged in via USB, I recommend you leave it plugged in or unplug it, plug it back in so that you can connect via USB. And then it should ask you to update the hub again, which is a bit annoying and it does take a long time. So press update and keep it all plugged in. And I've sped this up, but it does take about four or five minutes to actually update. But you just gotta be patient and update it all again. And when this is, is finished, you should be, your hub should now be compatible with the legacy app. So give your hub a unique name. I always name mine like a letter of the alphabet, Robot K this one is. And you should be good to go. Uh, hopefully you've been able to downgrade your hub successfully and if you really like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you